All right, let's see what I can do with this one. Um, I fixed the uh, space heater issue. I got a new extension cord. I had it running for a couple hours. It's like 60 degrees in here and about 20 degrees outside. So it works really well now. And I turned it off. I can even turn it off so it'll be nice and quiet. All right, so this, I don't know, it, it's like an amoeba looking chert. Looks pretty good. We shall see. Oops. It's got some existing cracks. At least one right there. Anyways, let's see what we got. Oh, yes. That's a big bulb of percussion, though. Yeah, I gotta watch it. Oops. Yeah, I'm kind of... I'm kind of behind on my napping. Yeah. So, we'll see. We'll see what I can come up with for this week. This week's auction. Yeah, it's good material. As long as it doesn't have cracks in it. Got some good flakes. All righty. So let's see. It's a root beerish type of chert. Yep. Okay. There's an existing crack right there. I don't see it on this side, so it looks it looks all right. I just gotta I gotta be careful how I attack it because you can attack the cracks, right? But if you don't do it in the right way, that crack can open up and split the whole thing in half. What is the right way? Just carefully picking at everything. Yeah. Just carefully pick at it. I don't know how else to describe it. Yeah, I broke that one off because I knew it was going to break right there. So I just hit it, got rid of it. I should be able to get rid of the rest of that crack with a flake right through here. And then we can move on to getting the biface. Don't worry, I did not get my tape measure before I started. Let's see. It might still have an issue down in here. But that one is gone. That crack is gone. So, that's good. It feels like good material. I gotta zigzag around the edges to clean it up. All right, that's what I was worried about on this one. Just when I saw that crack, I said, "Uh oh, it might just break in half." But it didn't, so it looks promising. That one felt like it scooped it. Did it scoop out? I don't know what it did. What is that? Still might have a few issues. Let me zigzag around the outside first. See what else. See if anything else pops up. It's just raw, yeah, just raw stone. It's doing that funny stuff. 
that raw stone likes to do. Yeah. See, I'm getting those terminations like that was last night. How do I avoid those? I don't know. I just got to get used to pushing those flakes just right so that they don't stop. You know, it does, I, I think it requires more follow through than what I'm doing. You know, follow through with the strike. Because right now I feel like I'm just tapping it. If I follow through a little bit better, it might work better. But who knows? It could be I'm not grinding it enough. It's not that I'm not grinding it. Or is it? Let's see. It's not that... Uh, I don't know. I was gonna. I don't know what I was gonna say. What was I thinking? I don't know. It's it's hard to figure out what's going on. I just uh, do whatever. And if it seems to be working, I try it again. If not, I try something else. Little subtle differences, they're not, they're not big differences in how I hit the edges. Just subtle little differences. Okay. Nice. This is a little bit small for me to be using the bopper. But boppers are so much fun. Yep. Actually, they are fun. Yes, yes. I usually don't say that about flint napping because most of the time it's stress. But with a bobber, it makes it kind of fun. Until you have to get down to the nitty gritty. Yeah. It's fine up until this point. Okay, so I'm going to make a point that it's rounded on one side and as flat as I can get it on the other side. Now, how do you do that on purpose when both sides should be convex and not one side flat? Is it something that is advantageous or incidental or intentional and advantageous or incidental and just coincidental? I'll, I'll write the name of the point in the title, obviously. I cannot remember it off the top of my head. I can never remember it, but I know, I know the shape. I know the shape by memory, pretty much. Yeah. If I mess up the shape, I'll just, uh, I, you know, make another part to the video where I fix it. Yeah. Okay, it's getting down to... Oops, getting down to reaching my limits on accuracy. You got to be very accurate when you get it down to a thin state. Yeah. Okay, so do I strategize on what, which side do I want to flatten? Well, I think if I think about it, I think if I think, it's easier to to uh, round one side first and then flatten the other side. Yeah. So decide which side I want to be rounded and then flatten the other side. Yeah. Flatten it to thin it down. That's, I guess it's a thinning strategy. If it's done intentionally. Actually, I, can, I need to lose a lot more width off the stem here. Oops. 
oops with the scoops I don't want to get that too often and yeah I'm using the abrader like a hammer stove like I always do all this brushing I do the same thing with a hammer stone and all this scraping same thing that's what I do with a hammer stone okay so let's see I've been trying to figure out what the advantages are with the the different grits of abraders. The finer the grit, it seems, the more solid the contact with the edge when you're using a percussion tool. Pressure tool, I suppose, also. Doesn't matter. Pressure or percussion. If the finer the the abrader, the better the contact, but it takes longer to get get it ground down. That's the issue. If you got time to just mess around with the grinding. Some of you might say, well, I see guys that are using fine abraders and they just they barely tap it. Well, it must be the quality of the stone because I never have success doing it that way. Unless I have really good stone. And then, yeah, it's forgiving. I don't need to grind it much. Yeah. But, you know, you get step fractures. Okay, watch out for those. Usually the solution is to grind it a little bit more so you don't lose any strength, any, uh, any energy in the strike. Because if it crushes, you lose energy. A lot of energy. Do not want the edge to crush. All right. So I'm going to do this side as a rounded and then flatten the other side. Yeah. So to flatten this side, I need to move the edge that way as much as possible. Which creates even more roundness to this side. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just short flakes. Get rid of this cortex. Come on. That's too rounded on that side. I'm not sure how thick these were. They don't seem to be all that thick, so I'm gonna I'm going to assume this relatively thin. Relatively thin. Especially near the tip. You could also just, you know, flatten both sides and then just tap around the edges and then make it convex on one side. Yeah, I, I can just flatten both sides and then tap around the edges and it makes one side rounded. That's another strategy, I suppose. Yeah. But I'm going to look at it as a thinning strategy. Instead of looking at it as a, something aesthetic, like you want it to look a certain way, I'm going to treat it like a thinning strategy where I'm setting it up for thinning it. After doing one side, 
you uh, you thin it by focusing on flattening the other side. I'm I'm going to assume that's why it was done. Okay, all right. But first, I need to get rid of this lump right there. It's too lumpy. Humpty Dumpty is lumpy. There's a lump right there. <clears throat> and there's some thick spots along the edge. Hold on. I forget which side I'm going to flatten. I guess it doesn't matter. Just whatever comes up. Just one side will be flat. And I'm going to flatten it because that's the thinning strategy of this particular style, I'm assuming. Okay. Come on. Let's see if this plan works. That didn't work. Gotta grind it a lot. Sometimes I don't have to grind much and sometimes I have to grind a lot. Can, I can never tell until I'm actually working that particular stone. Dang it. That one slipped. Just want to trim it, okay? It's more difficult when you try to get a certain effect. Yeah. Instead of just regular lenticular shape, just regular flaking, if, if you try to get to a, you try to make a certain effect, it makes the whole process more difficult. I suppose it makes it more difficult if you're not used to doing it that way. If you're used to doing it that way, it's easy, relatively speaking. Right? Yes? No? I don't know. This uh, stem is still too wide. Hold on. It's a contracting stem. I'm going to switch over to the steel. This aluminum seems to be a little too weak. The stone is is very nappable, but it's tough. So maybe the steel would be more aggressive with it and not uh, leave a bunch of crunchy marks. Mm. Oh, there it is. The space heater turned on again. Let's see. Yeah, I got down to 50. When I started the video, it was 60 degrees. I turned the space heater off, and now it's 50 degrees. And it kicked back on. That was a very short period of time for it to go down by 10 degrees. Yeah. I didn't think it would go down that fast. There must be a draft in here. No. All right, so I'm going to get ready to thin this. 
Now the hard part about thinning when you're using flattening to thin it is that if you have a step fracture and it's flat, you try to come in from the other side, a lot of times it'll dive before it scoops out and removes the step fracture. So now you have a dive on one side and a step fracture on the other. So I'm wondering if it's actually good to do it this way. I think maybe it'd be best to flatten both sides and then just, you know, almost bevel it around the whole thing to make one side convex. But I'm not going to do it that way. I am going to flatten one side so I can thin it. Yep. Okay. And I'm going to do this opportunistically. And I don't know if I'm going to use the steel yet. Probably not yet. Not unless I need to. Or if this isn't working that well, I'll switch over. Okay, 20 minutes. I'm going to cut these videos at 20 minutes. Yeah, because it, uh, that last video that I uploaded, I think it was over an hour. It took six hours to upload that video here. And I thought I was going to have some good internet. But, uh, as the situation always is, I can't reliably get fast internet. So, I'm going to cut it off here and continue on the next segment. So that way I can upload these quicker. Okay.